Hello everybody, I'm taking a little break from working on my sawhorse project to demonstrate to you how I made this mortise and tenon joint with a 2x2 uh, and 2x4 that I got from the hardware store. Projects are fun, but be sure to understand the inherent risks of your projects and take the proper safety precautions. And the most important safety equipment of them all are the safety goggles. I want to mark the positions of the, the mortises. So this top line is 8 inches away from the bottom. And I'm marking this next line. One, I'm marking this next line one and a quarter away from this line. So this is between these two lines is one and a quarter inch. So I've set this gauge to be half inch between these points and then one inch from this point to the edge. Next I'm using this wheel gauge to mark the center. So I have a 3 8 inch drill bit marked for an inch and a half deep hole. I'm going to finish the rest of this using one and a quarter chisel and a half an inch chisel. I'm just going to check the depth that it's in the inch and a half. Yep. One feature about a sliding compo miter saw that I really like is this depth stop gauge. So instead of going all the way down, depth stop stops it from going down. So in a way, this is going to function like a radio arm saw and I'm going to take advantage of this and use it to cut the tenons, particularly the shoulder cut. So to cut the tenons, I'm going to use my sliding compound miter saw and use it like a uh, radio arm saw. So I've adjusted the depth to half an inch so this thing can't go any further. And I put a stop block here so to ensure that every cut is consistent. And it's very important to get a good shoulder cut because that's going to determine how well it's going to fit into the tenon. And don't forget these and these. So I'm just going to flip it over and cut the other side. I'm going to make a series of scoring cuts to make the um, chiseling process easier. The motors here is one and a quarter inch by about half an inch. The tenon, the way it's cut, is one and a half inch by a little over half an inch. So I'm going to knock a quarter inch off this end and this end. And I'm also going to thin this out slightly, but I'm going to do that after using a final fitting to get a tight fit on the motor's and tenon. So to get rid of this, I'm just going to I'm just going to estimate the depth of about uh, one eighth of an inch. I'm 
You know, that chicken was quiet all day until I come out here. And then he decides to make noise. Tenon is still a little bit too thick. And it's just a little bit too wide. It's starting to fit, but it's getting caught. A lot of the times, it's just the tips here are a little bit uh, at a slight angle. So all I have to do is trim the tip a little bit, make sure it's nice and flat. Yep, so that's gonna fit. I'm going to try to fit this into the tenon here, into the motors. So it's still a little bit too big. Just go in and clear out some of this debris that are in here. I want the fit to be fairly tight. And the fibers are going to compress slightly in that tight fit. And there you have it, one motor's intended fit. I'm just going to trim it up a little bit so it fits a little more flush, but from 2x4s and 2x2s you get from the hardware store, this is not a bad fit. Because there could be some twist in the wood that I can't see.